second straight game. In its 19th year of existence, the St. Xavier University football team beat Carroll College 24-20 to win the NAIA championship. Xavier is the first college football team from Illinois to win a national title in 25 years. The first team from Chicago to win one since 1913. Joining us now is Chicago Tribune columnist Fred Mitchell and two-time winner of the Fred Mitchell Award for best place kicker in the country, Tom Lynch. And this just in, <laughs> the Kicker of the Year Award is named after Fred Mitchell. I did not know. Yes. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you. I'm, I'm proud to have my name associated with it. And we're proud as a, as a selection committee to have Tom Lynch uh, represent that award yeah. for the second year in a row, which not only signifies a tremendous uh, kicking effort on the field, but also his community service. Tom, you guys have come close uh, the past few years. What's it like to uh, finally win the trophy? Oh, it's it's amazing. I mean, the past two years, uh, we've been to the semifinals, had a little trouble getting over the hump. Um, we had one goal this year, and it just finished off winning it, and one goal achieved. And now you're a part of history, of Chicago history anyway, so what's next for you? Uh, how, how's your look at the NFL? Um, well, what I'm going to do is uh, move to Arizona in a few weeks. Um, coach Zauner is my kicking coach out there, and hopefully uh, something will come out of that since it's a lot better weather out there. Mm -hmm. going to train out there. What is it like to get one of these jobs? For I know, like Robbie Gold was was not drafted. Uh, what what are the challenges of, of being an NFL kicker? Yeah, well, you know, unlike other positions where you have a second or third string guy at that position, uh, there's only one kicker per NFL team, which really makes a makes it a daunting task to to break through. But uh, you have to persevere, and Robbie Gold's a perfect example of a guy, like you say, was not drafted, uh, bounced around at different uh, camps and got some looks, and finally got his opportunity, and it's paid off. Tom, you were a, a soccer player by trade? Is this a skill you just picked up along the way? Or? Um, I played soccer when I was younger, yeah. but uh, freshman year of high school, I was like, eh, yeah, I'll try kicking. Yeah. Beats, it, beats so. getting hit in the head. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And uh, let's talk about the Bears a little bit, uh, uh, Fred. Uh, you know, Cutler's in injury certainly uh, de deflated everything. Uh, what do they need to do in the off season? Stay healthy. Yeah. Uh, and obviously they need to, to fortify the depth on, on the team at, at key positions. Uh, the quarterback uh, position obviously is the most glaring uh, in terms of uh, uh, drop off in talent. Yeah. We saw that uh, uh, to the detriment of the team losing five in a row and that, that just shouldn't happen. So there have to be some, some changes made as far as uh, getting better backups. They were fortunate last year uh, in terms of not having serious injuries to key players. There's been a lot of criticism of Mike Mars talk of him leaving but Bears did have a stretch there where the offense was pretty good. How much blame do you do you put on Mike Martz for? Well, I mean, I, th I think an offensive coordinator has to uh, adapt to his talent, and uh, we saw Jay Cutler sort of uh, fashion his his own style, if you will, mm -hmm. and and you know came out and criticized uh, Martz at, at times earlier in the season. Uh, and then when you get Caleb Haney there, you know what does he do best? He he, he can run the ball. He's a big kid. He, he's not Jay Cutler. He, he can't do the things that are designed in that Mike mm -hmm. Martz offense. Mm -hmm. What about Lance Briggs? What do they do about Lance Briggs? Uh, well, they don't have to do anything. Yeah. Lance had a good time joking around with us uh, <laughs> yesterday up at Hallis Hall, uh, trying to get the message out again that he would like to have his contract uh, extended with a raise, and wouldn't we all? <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, he, I mean, he had another Pro Bowl season. I think it's seven for him. Uh, he, he did his part on, on the field. Uh, but the Bears have so many other areas that need to be uh, shored up that I, I don't know where he stands uh, on, the, on the list of to, uh, the uh, to-do list for the Bears front office. Hey, can we get a, before we go? Can we get a look at uh, Tom Tom's rings here? Can we, uh, <laughs> so, these are uh, very impressive. Just hold just hold it still there. Those are impressive. Yeah, let me say that Tom's uh, year was highlighted by scoring more points than anybody any kicker in the country. 134 points. Had five field goals in one game. Had a 55-yarder and a 50-yarder. Had a tremendous, uh, tremendous season, just as he did last year. Well, congratulations to you, and uh, you. best of luck in the in your pursuit of the NFL. We wish you the best. Thank you. And Fred, boy, the, the <laughs> hidden talents I, I didn't know. Congratulations <laughs> to you as well. Thanks, sir. Hello, Paul.